Hey guys, Travis here. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a 33 year old man living in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland, and I am on the autism spectrum. I wanna talk about uh, recently uh, some of the things that have been going on. Um, anybody who lives in Newfoundland right, has obviously heard by now of the uh, uh, attack that happened on a young lady out in Bowering Park in St. John's, uh, where a um, fully grown, severely autistic man with other uh, mental health uh, needs uh, sexually assaulted a um, young lady and uh, the backlash that has come after it. Uh, first of all, I want to um, address the young woman. I am, first of all, I am so terribly sorry that this happened to you, happened to your mother and, and is happening to your family. Uh, she made a comment on uh, a um, Facebook post that she made telling his, the individual's parents that, uh, that she's sorry that they have to live with such a sick and uh, violent person as their son. Sexual assault is never right in any kind of circumstance. And the thing is, a lot of people think that the family is using autism as an excuse for this man's their, their son's actions i we as autistic people the more high functioning like myself they do not we never use autism as an excuse because many of us know the difference between right and wrong the big fear i have um that's going to come out of this is that over the years we have been vilified we have been vilified as people that need to be locked away in mental homes, people who need to be excommunicated from society, people that um, in medieval times have actually been used as court jesters for the kings. You know, we have been vilified. And unfortunately, from all the comments I've been seeing on the video and everything else saying that, you know, this guy should be shot, this guy should be hung, this guy should be locked away, never to be able to see the light of day ever again. That's not right. Do I think that we are living in a province now where our health system, our education system, and our justice system are all failing. It is failing. The victims are getting it. And when it comes to the justice system, the victims are being the ones that are being punished while the criminals are letting out on the streets. Our education system is piss poor. Our health system when it comes to um, wait times and everything else. But, um, they are also failing people with mental health problems. And um, unfortunately, more people are gonna be diagnosed with autism, whether or not it's gonna be high functioning or very severe, that um, it is, remains to be seen. And what I'm starting to fear is that more autistic people uh, who are don't know the difference between right and wrong are going to be assaulted by police. And unfortunately, there might be even some severe injuries that are co even causing even death. Education is the key. When I first started my autism speaking journey, I did it because I knew of people in my school that were severely autistic, who only way of communicating and to get their, their voices heard was to be physically violent to others and to themselves. Um, and obviously this person was not looked after properly um, for whatever reason. I don't know the reason, whether the parents let him down or whether society let him down, that's totally up. You know, obviously this is somebody who needs very special needs. And um, uh, his father said that he was a very large person. So, you know, right and wrong is something that they can't process right. And it frightens me because I fear that we autistic people are going to be vilified more because of this. And this is why I say, that this is why I became a socialist, but this is why I became, uh, when it came, comes to um, the plight of blacks, of Latinos, of the LGBTQ, of, um, you know, of minorities, because I am part of a minority. I am somebody, because of my condition, have been vilified, has been excommunicated from jobs, 
excommunicated from many people for many things that are happening in society. But never once have I used my autism as an excuse. I've used it to tell people I'm a little bit different. Please understand, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to assault you in any way. I'm a good I'm a good person. Unfortunately, these severely autistic, full-grown human beings can't comprehend that. Physically, they are a grown person. Mentally, they have the brain of a five-year-old. And even though the body matures, the brain doesn't in many cases. So that's what caused this person to do what he did. And it was not right, but I don't blame him. I blame whoever was supposed to look after him. I know of many times when I was um, ring announcing pro wrestling, we had an incident where a worker brought somebody who was mentally handicapped to the show. He got too excited and he jumped the ring. That And she just sat there and did nothing. And he could have been hurt. The wrestlers could have been hurt. Fans could have been hurt. Security could have been hurt. Anything could have happened. Because especially in pro wrestling, when a fan jumps the ring, the first, um, the first um, reaction from the wrestler is to knock this SOB out because he just jumped the guardrail. He's gotten in the ring. I'm a, supposed to be a bad guy, a heel, and he's going to come and attack me. I got to defend myself, like any normal person would. But I know I know somebody who I have dear I have a dear friend, two dear friends, who have a severely autistic young boy. And they had the same fear as this man's parents. They have the same fear that when he grows up, they grow old, they won't be able to look after him. And what's going to happen afterwards? That's the big fear that parents have. That's the big fear that what's going to happen to my child? What's going to happen when I'm gone? What's going to happen when I can't take care of myself, let alone them? So I encourage the provincial government, Central Health, Eastern Health, uh, Western Health, the Autism Society of Newfoundland and Labrador, things need to change. Better precautions need to be made. This person needed to be looked after. He, he, he was, they failed him, and unfortunately, this tragic incident happened. And a lot of anger and a lot of hatred is being thrown around which is very sad and it concerns me greatly because anger leads to hate hate leads to violence and we all know what could happen when people get hate people get angry then they get hateful then they get violent people get hurt and i'm sorry to the person that this happened to i'm sorry to her family and i'm sorry to Anybody who's ever gone through this kind of thing, nobody deserves to be assaulted in any way, especially sexually. But this was a situation that where it was just not somebody who was trying to get their jollies off. This was somebody in need of severe mental help and was failed. I'm not excusing what he did, but the situation in this case is far more complicated than what the media and what other people have you believe you know they the people who are vilifying this person you shouldn't pe don't we are we are a spectrum we are a rainbow of people you can't paint us all with one brush i mean there have been many times in my life that i have been accused i've been pointing the finger at all because i'm different but that does not mean that I'm ever going to hurt anybody. I have a lot of love in my heart and I'm highly functioned autism. I know the difference between right and wrong. This guy didn't. That's what needs to be known. And it's not just autism that I'm pretty sure that he has. He has other severe mental health problems. Nobody who was born with autism just has autism. They have other things. I myself have social anxiety. I have depression. I have seasonal depression. I have all kinds of mental health problems as well as as physical because of my diagnosis. 
And it, unfortunately, I think this is gonna cause a lot of people who are high functioning, who have all the sense of autism, to not get diagnosed. Things need to change. And things need to get better before more innocent people are gonna get hurt. Thank you all for watching. And I hope this helped in some way.